Hey guys, it's Jacob here from Divine Spring, and today I'm going to give you a Photoshop tutorial on how to use the threshold effect. So the threshold effect is a basic visual effect you can use in Photoshop that creates a sort of punk dystopian black and white look by altering the colors in your design. Uh, it can be useful for a lot of things, for t-shirts, for posters, really anything, and it's very easy to use. So if you're new to using Photoshop or you're new to starting your brand, it's a useful tool to learn. So the first thing I'm going to do is get an image. So here I have this image of Kanye West. Not all images will work amazingly with the threshold effect, so you just gotta play around with it a bit till you find what's perfect for you. Okay, so next we're going to unlock the background layer and remove the background. So if you have the new version of Photoshop, you can see here we have a remove background option, which is very helpful. Completely cuts out our image. If you have an older version of Photoshop, just use the lasso tool, the magic wand tool, or the quick selection tool to cut out the background. Okay, but we're going to remove the background. Okay, now we have our Kanye cut out. So what we need to do next is add a new layer and select the paint bucket tool and then make the background white. This is vital for the threshold effect to work, so make sure you do that. Then we select our main image again and this is where we apply the threshold effect. So go up to image, adjustments, and then threshold. And then we can adjust the threshold level to get the result we want. So it'll obviously depend on your image, what threshold level you need. Um, for this one, I want to make sure I can see his jacket and see what the image is. So I'm going to go with 34. And then just hit OK when you have your desired effect. OK, so now that we have our threshold image, we can use this in our designs. So just delete the white layer and then you can really use it for anything you want. So for example, I'll copy it and we can paste it on our T. Uh, you can just resize it as you want, however you want it. So obviously this isn't a finished design or anything, but you can see how the threshold effect can be useful when assembling t-shirt designs or promotional material for your brand. So thanks guys for watching this tutorial. I'll be back uploading soon with some more streetwear Photoshop tutorials. This channel is just going to focus on providing basic instructions on creating your own streetwear business because as a brand owner I remember finding it really difficult to find resources when I was first getting started. Um, so even if you are just getting started you can use these tools that I'm going to show you to make a pretty cool design. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if there's any tutorials you would like to see in the future and you can check out my Instagram in the description. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Take care. Stay safe.